Hey, hey, thanks for being here. This is the Astro Vibe for Monday, August 8th. I'm Marina Orms, the founder of Astrology Heals at astrologyheals.com and the author of this book that I was talking about yesterday, all about how to uh, manifest the things that you want through a process called aligned manifestation that I describe in that book. So check out yesterday's video. Today we're talking about the moon going into Capricorn and our theme is how to turn your limitations into your greatest strengths. So the moon going into Capricorn brings a different vibe. It follows the moon being in Sagittarius, which is about exploration, discovery, adventure, and storytelling. Um, and then we've got uh, the energy of the moon in Capricorn, which is about structure and limitations and discipline and responsibility and lots of things that um, we don't think of as the most fun in life, right? Who likes their limitations? <laughs> Who wakes up every day saying, I'm so grateful for all the things that limit me? Um, well, maybe you do. And there's a good reason, actually, because the energy of Capricorn is about the things that create limits in our lives, uh, rules, um, consistency, structure, stability, uh, foundations, things we can count on, uh, the roots of a tree when they are uh, weak. That tree can get blown over in a storm, but when the tree has strong roots that go very deep, uh, might not be obvious on the surface, but that tree is inherently much stronger and much more able to withstand storms. Um, Capricorn is ruled by Saturn and it deals with structures. So also the bony structures in our body, our, our bones, our skeletons, our teeth, um, and those structures are what hold us up, literally. <laughs> Without them, we would be a blob. And think about structures in our lives. Without them, things would have no structure. <laughs> we wouldn't have any guidelines, no rules to follow. Like, what if we had to drive uh, to work every day with no signs, no traffic lights, and no traffic rules. Um, it would be mayhem. And, uh, you know, uh, what would happen, right, is people would probably eventually figure out some customs to practice, and that would be a form of structure. <laughs> so we need structure. Structure helps us. Um, knowing what our limitations are uh, allows us to find our strength. It allows us to uh, work with that energy of limitation, to be creative, to discover new possibilities. So the energy of Capricorn um, deals with things we can measure, like uh, like time, <laughs> like the laws of physics, um, uh it it's it's that that feeling of um being limited but also having a structure by which to operate um so in your life what do you have uh going on that limits you that creates a feeling of limitation of frustration of challenge of like you know i if only that thing weren't there and now think about that thing and what role it plays in your life. And I'm thinking about some of the people, some of the figures in my life who have either been difficult people, personalities I've had to deal with, or, um, you know, perhaps even in the world, <laughs> there might be some figures uh, that, you know, you kind of wish weren't there. Um, and when we think about them as something that is there as a limitation for us um, and how we respond is from a place of discovering our inner strength and power. And that is the gift of Capricorn. It helps us uh, get stronger. It helps us deepen our own roots uh, fortify ourselves through really good self-care, 
strengthen ourselves through uh, believing in ourselves, all these things that we talk about here, working on having healthy relationships, finding our voice, shining our light. Those are all the things we've been talking about in the past week or two. And it's all connected to um, becoming stronger, right? And, and when you fortify yourself, you can better respond to those things that are, you know, limitations or uh, obstructions or challenges in your life and um, how that makes you stronger. So looking at what it is uh, that challenges you that you wish wasn't there and seeing how you can respond, how it, how is that thing teaching you to be a better person? And um, Saturn is like one of the best teachers for us, because if you think about um, some of the best teachers you've ever had, they're the ones that didn't say, oh, you're great, you're wonderful, you know, go home and celebrate because you did everything right. They're the ones that say, yeah, keep going. You can get, you can do better. Here's what you could improve at here. <laughs> you're not good enough here yet. And, and it's the, those people that really push us to discover what we're made of, to find our strength and our power. And, um, you know, hopefully that is done in a, in a loving and supportive way, as opposed to a mean way. But even, even the um, energy sometimes of bullies in our lives uh, is what helps us figure out how to heal, how to um, live our lives in a way that's more truthful and authentic and ultimately not need that energy in, in our lives anymore and to move on <laughs> and create lives for ourselves where we do feel more supported and support can be a Capricorn theme as well. So how are you supporting yourself? How are you finding your strength? And how are you uh, working with limitations in your life to turn them into what makes you stronger uh, instead of what knocks you down? All right. Thanks so much for watching today. If you did miss yesterday's video, you definitely want to go check it out because um, it, there was tons of information about uh, the real story behind the law of attraction and how to work with energy to create, how to work with uh, uh, the elements in your life, mind, body, spirit, emotion, to create the outcomes that you want to manifest the things that are important to you and what that can look like um, in a real authentic path to accomplishing things that are important to you. All right, check it out and lots of great videos I have here. Um, check out the titles and if you've missed anything, there might be something that's just right and just what exactly what you need right now. So thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. And uh, thanks for being part of my community and subscribing and uh, for your comments. And, and please do let me know your thoughts and what you'd like to hear more about. All right. See you next time. Bye for now.